Abraham Lincoln once asked in an audience, how many legs does a dog have if you count the tail as a leg? When they answered five, Lincoln told them that the answer was four. The fact that you called the tail a leg did not make it a leg. <laughs> and I think, well, I think this, uh, this quote, this little anecdote, pretty much alludes to what we have going on. And, you know, a lot of people years ago, uh, especially just moderates, they would hound conservatives when they said, look, we're opposed to gay marriage. We think the institution of marriage should be between a man and a woman. That's how we define it. Because definitions matter. How we define things matters. And that used to be the definition of marriage. And then, of course, liberalism won, progressivism won, and now we have gay marriage. And, you know, a lot of conservatives at the time, when this gay marriage debate was happening, said, you know, if you allow that, eventually you're just going to open the door to allow any definition of anything to be changed, right? So all of a sudden now, uh, theoretically, you could have, you know, a, a dog marry a person or something. And then down the road, this broke into the transgender debate with Bruce Jenner, supposedly transitioning into a supposed woman and calling himself Caitlyn. So then you had that whole debacle in 2014 and 15 with people saying, ah, it's, it's still Bruce Jenner, guys. Like, like it's not Caitlyn Jenner. And now people are hailing Bruce Jenner for being a, a conservative hero for calling out these men competing against women in women's sports. We have Leah Tom Thomas, formerly known as William Thomas, um, competing against women in swimming in the NCAA. And as you can see here, from the most recent competition, he absolutely dominated. Of course, he's a man. And, and you know, everybody wants to say that, you know, we need to respect his belief that he is a woman and, you know, we need to allow him to compete against other women. It's actually pretty funny. You know, a lot of people get really pissed off about this. And, you know, say it's, it's a disservice to women and women's sports and it's not fair. And it's actually abuse. You know, some people are calling this like abuse uh, of women. Like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, like allowing a man to just come in and just dominate. I see it though. I mean, I, I think it's, it's, it's absolutely horrendous. But I also think there's a dark humor side to it where it's kind of funny. Like, you have that South Park episode <laughs> with the guy... He's like, yeah, I'm a woman. And he comes and he just dominates, like, the sport. And, and uh, the, the female strong woman competition. Uh, and he's just, like, totally ripped. He's like, yeah, I'm the best, number one. There's so many amazing women athletes out here today. It makes me so proud. Now that I can compete as female, I'm ready to smash the other girls. I'm here to kick some f***ing ass. I'm going to roll up the other women here, and I'm going to smoke them. I am the strongest woman this state has ever seen. To me, that's kind of like that's kind of like how I see it. It's almost kind of funny. Like, forgive me, it is a little bit funny. But you know, what if you are these w women and you work so hard your whole life to compete, and then you have to compete? I mean, just look at this photo right here. Right, you can see, like William is just so much more larger than 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 the second place. And by the way, congratulations to Emma Wyant or weigh-in, the real first place winner right here in the middle. Uh, congratulations to her. I think that needs to be called out that she is actually the winner. Like, and, and by the way, part of me thinks maybe this whole thing is scripted in the PSYOP. I'm not saying that for sure. I'm just kind of like, because like she's absolutely beautiful, right? And then you have William who just, I mean, look at this photo. It's almost cartoon level. It's a, like we're in such a clown world scenario. It's like hard to believe it's happening. You know what I mean? Uh, but this is what happens. You know, first it's like let the gays marry each other. And then now you have this. And it's just an absolute upside down world. And that's literally like I, I know that's, uh, is that a leap? I don't think it is. Because once you open up that door, 
you know, first it's this, then it's that, you know, first it's like gay marriage, and it's all, you know, it's Caitlyn Jenner, and now Caitlyn Jenner is a conservative. It's like, it's like before you know it, to, to, to even, like, you'll have, like, five years from now, conservatives saying, well, it's okay for men to compete in women's sports, but let's not, let's not allow, like, you know, puppies who be, identify as, uh, you know, um, people uh, or something uh, compete in, in men's sports right? or something. Let, let's not let wolves fight men. Actually, that'd be kind of cool, right? And you have see like a wolf fighting a man. I don't know. Maybe we should. Maybe we should just go all the way, right? Just go all the way. But but this is what we have now. And I think, I think, I honestly think there's going to be a lot of pushback here. I think that my prediction is that William will be sort of kicked out. I don't think this, this can, uh, the average person, the average sort of NPC normie doesn't agree with this. I think most people know this is outrageous. And I think eventually this will stop. This will come to a stop. I think this is too far. Um, but it's it's continuing on for now. You know, it could take a while. You might have, you might this might keep going on for, you know, the rest of this year, next year. But I think eventually, I mean, this is too far. This is a little bit, this really is clown world. She, she comes, or he comes in first place and just dominates. He's breaking records, by the way. You know, he broke all these school records, these swim, swim meets, NCAA. It's just outrageous. It's, it's, I can't even believe we're in this world. And, and by the way, another reason why that indicates, so check this out. We're going to look at the, uh, the moment when they're announcing the women, winners and the fact that he's first place. So he gets booed pretty bad uh, by, by all, the, all the people in the audience. So, so I'll just play it here. Hold on. <laughs> Now there's reports too, and this is where it's like a uh, Soviet level um, where people aren't allowed to talk about this. Obviously, all I guarantee you every woman swimming, except maybe a few of William's teammates, um, every woman swimming in this competition is opposed to this, but they're not allowed to talk about it. They're not allowed to come out against it uh, because, of course, they'll be demonized uh, you know, possibly have their reputation ruined. Of course, this is a cowardice move, but you can't really expect women to step up and be brave in these circumstances, especially when they don't give a crap about politics at all or the culture war. They just they, they just want to swim, right? So, you know, they're told to shut up. They shut up. You know, they're athletes, too. They're, they're trained to be disciplined and do what they're told, uh, which, which, which is a quality, but in this case, you know, people need to speak up. Um, you have here that, uh, there's reports, this is Sav, uh, Savannah, whatever her name is, she used to be on Slightly Offensive, uh, parents of one of the NCAA swimmers shared with me that coaches told athletes they aren't allowed to speak to anyone, especially media, regarding Leah Thomas. They're not even allowed to mention Thomas's name in the locker room. This is mind control, double speak. That's another thing. It's double speak. It's 1984 level clown world. It's just, it's 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 kind of funny. I mean, it's it's almost, it's almost funny, but it really isn't. But congratulations to uh, the winner here, um, Emily Wayan. Um, I don't really give a crap about swimming, especially women swimming. You know, it's really sad that it takes a man to come into a women's sport for people to actually care about it or talk about it, but. Uh, is that her first name? Or did I have the wrong Emily? But she is hot, right? She's she's hot. But um, yeah. I mean, just look at look at this look too. The other the other girl, the third place girl, like, you know, dang. 
feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad for, for, for the girls, though. Oh, it's M- Emma. Or is it? Yeah, Emma Lant. But, you know, this is this is a clown world. Clown world. And uh, I think you're going to see more of it. You're going to see more of it. Uh, and it's just really kind of kind of outrageous. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to contribute to the channel at Patreon, uh, etc. Um, but most importantly, share the video, like the video, let people know. Like, this is kind of outrageous. I think if most people, even if you share this info, they'd agree. Like, I don't think I'm saying anything controversial here that, like... Like, we gotta have some sort of line. We gotta draw a line here. Right? Right? I don't know. It's been pressed. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.